You may be asking yourself the reason for all this eBay search training, but please trust me, it's critical to fully understand how to find merchandise on eBay. Many sellers not only use eBay search to help them price items and size up their competition, but being able to find items that are poorly listed is also a source of merchandise. You can pick up deals because of other sellers' mistakes and even resell those purchases back on eBay. Let's explore a few more ways to search, and although we won't endeavor to cover every possible search scenario, we'll uncover some great tips to help you find just about anything on eBay. So let's say a friend or colleague says, hey, I'd like you to check out this eBay listing, and you tell them, well, uh, what's the eBay item number? Well, you can type the eBay item number for any eBay listing directly into the search box. If you find a search box on the eBay site, you just type in the eBay number. And I have one here, which is 220-672-838-551. And then I go ahead and search for this item, and I'm taken immediately to the listing page. Anytime you type in an eBay item number, you'll go directly to the listing page. This is an item I'm selling, which is a vintage cowboy belt. And you'll see the item number right here, over on the right hand side you'll see the item number on the listing so if someone's looking at a, an ebay listing and they want to share that information with you of course they can always click the share option here but you can just say hey what's the ebay number i'll punch it in and i'll look for it right now and that's how you find an item by its ebay number so let's go back to the home page and let's click on advanced search right here You'll see on advanced search a whole lot of different ways that you can slice and dice the search on eBay and find merchandise using different sets of restrictions or filters. This is a very helpful tool because it allows you to really fine tune your search. I'm looking for an iPad, so I'm going to go ahead and type in a search term iPad. That's the primary keyword. and We're using keywords to search on eBay. And then I'm looking for a 16 gigabyte. So I'm going to type in 16, a 16 gigabyte iPad eBay's advanced search allows you to sort out the words that you're typing in here in a variety of ways. You can search all the words in any order, any words in any order, which means that it will find any listing with any of the words, the exact words that you're typing in in that same order. So if you're typing in, you know, a brand name that has two words, you know, it'll only search in that sequence and then the exact words in any order. So there's some other things you can do too, which is excluding keywords. So if you're interested in an iPad, but you don't want a dock, you could type in, you know, give me all the iPads without docs. You can search specific categories. So if you wanted to limit it to a category, I'll leave that alone, but that is an option. You can save the search to your My eBay, which allows you to repeat the search later quickly. If you're looking for something that maybe has a model number or you're looking for some additional keywords that might not be in the title because eBay initially searches just titles of the eBay listings, you can click on title and description, which will go deeper into the listing and search all of the words within a listing. If you want to see items that have closed and they've either sold or they're unsold, you can click on the completed listings option. And then you can limit your search to a price range. So if you're on a budget, you might put a price range here. You can limit your search to specific buying formats. I'm interested in a buy it now because I want to purchase mine right away and I don't want to wait for an auction. And I only want to deal with sellers who offer PayPal. So I'm going to limit my search to those sellers who offer PayPal. If I was bidding on an auction, I might want to see all the auctions ending in a certain time frame, like in the next day or within a few hours. So I can limit my search that way. Since I'm using buy it now, I don't want to do that. I can also look at items that are offering best offer, which I like because I like to wheel and deal with people and make offers back and forth. If someone's uh, got a, a cause marketing or a charity listing where they're donating a portion of the proceeds of their listing to charity, you can filter by those as well, which is nice, and it, and it feels good to donate money to charity. If the seller offers expedited shipping, you can select this option because this shows that the seller is offering like overnight shipping or two-day shipping. And I like free shipping, so I'm going to limit my search to people that offer free shipping and local pickup. And I'd like to search within driving distance of my house, so I'm going to put a restriction on the listings to 200 miles within my city and my zip code. And I can restrict listings to specific eBay sites and locations. I'm not going to do that, but I definitely could do that if I wanted to, and specific currencies. And if you prefer to buy from specific sellers, you can sort listings that can be filtered only by sellers that you know can also limit your search to sellers that are in your safe sellers list, people that you've bought from before or that you've bookmarked as your favorite sellers. Or you can just do business with top rated sellers, people who have the best ratings on eBay. And I like to give everybody a chance. So I'm not actually going to limit myself to specific sellers. 
You can sort the results as well, and I'm going to go ahead and conduct this search, and you'll notice that nothing popped up. There are no actual results, and I see here that it says iPad 16 without doc, which is a, the negative sign. I'm going to go ahead and change the search. Now I can do that right here. Maybe I need to put in additional things here, like GB. You'll notice in the um, popular searches here, you'll see that eBay is suggesting that I type in GB at the end, so I'm going to go ahead and conduct that search. And then I see a bunch of different options here, related searches here at the top. So when I conduct this search, you'll see that eBay thinks that there might be listings with these different search terms. So I'm going to click on one of those and see what comes up. And in fact, I got a whole bunch of listings when I followed eBay's suggestion. So that's how you would conduct an advanced search using those tools. And you can also do some other clever tricks. Let me show you a couple. So if I'm interested in buying an iPad, but I don't know about prices and I want to price shop around different sizes, I can use this parentheses trick. This means that instead of me conducting a search for iPad 16 gigabyte and then iPad 32 gigabyte and then keep on typing in different searches, I can actually give eBay a set of searches in parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 16 GB, put a comma, and then I'm going to type in 32 GB, put another comma, and then I'm going to type in 64 GB, and then I'm going to close the parentheses and then conduct that search. Now what that does is it says, hey eBay, not only do I want to search the word iPad, but I want to search either 16, 32, or 64 gigabyte iPads. So I've gone ahead and conducted that search, and as you scroll down here, you'll see there are things like accessories and so forth. But when you look at an actual iPad, you'll see that the 16 gigabyte is showing here. You also have one that's 64. So using this trick, I was able to create multiple searches within the parentheses and have eBay show me the results. I'm not really interested in doc, so I'm going to actually put a minus sign here, put in the minus, and then I'm going to put doc. What that does is it removes all the listings from the search that have the word doc in them, and I'm also going to put in a minus sign, and I'm going to put in charger. It allows you to reduce the search results down to a more manageable size. There's still a whole lot of search results for iPads, but by using these advanced search techniques, you can refine the search quite a bit. Let's go back to advanced search for a second, and I'm going to click on here. And I want to show you some of the links that are available here. If you're interested in searching on eBay Motors, you can click on this link over here, and that allows you to search just the eBay Motors site. That's where all the vehicle parts and accessories and cars are. You can type in searches for vehicle make and model. You have a lot of different options there, and for someone buying a car, it's a helpful tool. And then you also have the ability to search by a specific seller. You can type in the seller's ID here and just look at the individual seller's listings. You can look for items that are being bid on by people you know. So if, if you actually a, have a friend and they say, hey, well, you know, I buy a lot on eBay, you can look up their user ID and see the items they're bidding on. As I showed you before, you have the ability to search in a search box for item number, but there's also a little tool here to do that. And you can search for items in eBay stores. eBay stores is a place on eBay where merchants, such as yourself, will be listing many, many items in their storefronts, the virtual storefronts, and you can search for items in stores. And then you can find stores by their name. So if you wanted to type in the name of a store, you know someone's selling on eBay, but you don't know how to find their store, you can type in some keywords to locate their store. And then you can find members on eBay if you know their user ID or their email address. If you have their email address only, you do actually have to have a transaction with that person to find that member on eBay. And then you can find contact information. If you've got a transaction where you've actually bought or sold something with another member, you can type in the user ID and the, the eBay item number and find their contact information, which will be emailed to you. If you've never done business with them before, you're not allowed to get their contact information. But if you've done business with them, eBay will send that to you by email. Okay, so I want to show you a couple other things real quick here. We're going to go back to the advanced search page, and I want to show you on the advanced search that there are some additional tips here, search tips that eBay provides you in this link, and you can review this on your own time. Take some time to review all the different things that eBay recommends about searching for specific brands and colors, attributes within the title. Some of the more common ones might be keywords such as new or MIB, which is mint in box, or NIB, which is new in box. Things like that are tips and tricks that eBay provides you. There's a second link here about using advanced search options, and I've covered a few of these in actually showing you the iPad search. But what you'll do is you'll review this page and you'll pick up some additional tips and tricks from eBay, and it shows you all the different search variations that you might want to try when looking for something. They even have things that they call Boolean logic, which are search things that you can type into the box and come back with some results. 
Just a quick example is if you want to look for any keyword with a few characters in it and you want to type in that keyword, let's say book with an asterisk at the end of it, you'll find all the keywords with the word book at the beginning of the word, such as books, bookshelf, and bookmark. And then you'll see the search that I did earlier as well. And there's a bunch of tips and tricks here that I recommend you take a look at and really get your hand around all of the different capabilities of eBay search tools. Okay, so you've got a uh, taste of advanced searches, and you'll also have to do some of these on your own to really master the process of using advanced search techniques. Take some time to challenge yourself to find some items that might interest you. Do you want to buy a new car or just find a piece of mom's favorite china pattern that was accidentally broken? Whatever it is that you're seeking, you're learning how to explore the competitive eBay marketplace and discover what's out, how it's priced, and learning how to best present your items to buyers by seeing what's actually on the eBay marketplace.